it's Steve here from Showrooms Online and today we are on the edge of the Telford Town Park in Hinksay in Telford with Countryside Properties. This development is called Silking Green and it's at the end of a beautiful lane. Now this house type here, this is the Ashbourne, a three bedroomed detached house. Now what I love about the Ashbourne is that beautiful crisp, crisp white render and that lovely lattice work over the porch. Without further ado, let's go and take a look around. Hello Emma. Hello. Welcome to the Ashbourne by Countryside Properties and we're at Silking Green in Hinksay in Telford in we Shropshire. Indeed, yes. So, how many bedrooms? Three. So beautiful three bed detached. It's actually quite a striking house from outside, isn't it? It's lovely. So really beautiful. We've, we're in this entrance hallway now, aren't we? We are. Which is nice stairs come off there as well. I'm very excited to have a look round here. Right, should we make a start? Yeah. So front door there. Oh, we have the uh, security alarm there, which they put some fantastic stickers on just to let you know what's included. You do actually get quite a lot, you know. You certainly do, and as we go round. I'll tell you all the things that are included as yeah. standard in this house. Right, so we've got downstairs cloakroom there as we come in through the front door. That's actually a very stylish toilet there, isn't it? It certainly yeah. is. So this is quite quite a spacious room, ideal standard sanitary wear here, little tiled splash back there and a little radiator. It's a good size little room. Mm. And it's also got a little window as well. That's always great. Yeah, I like these doors very, very nice door furniture They're look. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Look at them. There's another sticker there. Oh, that's saying. So that's showing us that lovely um, chrome light, light switch, switch there. Yeah. And it's included, so you do get a lot for your money here you by the looks do. of it. Right, lounge then. Oh, the so. look at the lights just flooding off that. So this is a corner plot. It is. So we've got that bay window there as well certainly brings the light in doesn't it yeah. right let me look for some dimensions we've got three meters 14 by five meters 33 so that's 10 foot four by 17 foot six in here very nice indeed yeah, it's quite nice that uh, going back to the bay window it's quite it's actually quite low as well lovely it's perfect yeah. for a chair isn't it yeah just or, gives you a bit one more. of those snuggle chairs yeah so you can see that this site is currently under construction. There are going to be 74 houses on here in total for sale. Some are already occupied, but there's still plenty, plenty going on here. Well, Countryside Properties, they've kind of opened up a new region, um, a more of a Midlands region. I mean, we've obviously reviewed Countryside Properties all over the yeah. south, haven't we? Yeah. And some absolutely true, remarkable houses, and this is no exception. And their new region, they've obviously got this, this new development here in Telford and also mm -hmm. they are developing in the Midlands area as well, the West Midlands area, and also they've acquired a new site in Shifnal, so uh, they've got the There's locations. On, yeah. There? If you just want to show the viewers down there what we've got behind the, uh, the TV. So that is a bank of media switches there, so you've got a lot going on there, satellite points, etc. Yeah, aerials, etc. Yeah. Beautifully dressed as yeah. well. We always like a lovely show, don't we? Shall we back into the hall? So just just before we uh, leave, you can see we've got a radiator there, just behind the uh, sofa there. It's a nice ambient temperature. We're lucky that we've got a nice day today. Yes. We? We'll go upstairs in a in a little while. So we're at the back of the house. Kitchen, dining family area oh oh one. oh trademark 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 windows there look at those skylights there oh, beautiful. that is you see those with countryside properties no matter where you go that is their trademark that is those beautiful windows and that just lets that summer that summer sun flood the kitchen but also look at those doors as well you can fling them open enjoy the summer and just bring that garden into your kitchen. Well, it just extends your living area, doesn't it? If yeah. you can open the doors, bring the outside in. But I think what those lights, the, the windows above actually do, is, is they give you a bit of extra daylight all year round, even if it's a dingy yeah. day, you've yeah. got that extra light coming in. Yeah. So, we've got a beautiful kitchen. 
We've got some stickers, so we'll cover those as we go around. Should we start at this end? Yes. Right, let's have a look in some cupboards then. So these are above head height. We've got a sticker there telling you that the LED lights are all included. And they're underneath all the cupboards as we go around. Do you know around. what? Uh, you, other developers, you wouldn't get that. You don't just you don't get little details like that, do you? But you know I'm a fan of the stickers. It keeps yeah. it simple. I'm not on about the stickers. I'm on about the, the, the extras. Yeah. Well, not even extras. Well, they're standard, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're extras to others. So, we've got... I'm not going to show you what's in the cupboard under there. Right. So, we've got a one and a half bowl sink. Look at that though, isn't that nice though? It's just cut into the into the work surface there. We've got an integrated dishwasher. We've got a beautiful hob with five rings. I always like that one in the middle, the big one. The one yeah. for your wok or your frying pan there. So AG appliances. That's a nice splashback as well, isn't it? It's glass, yes. Yeah. And that's that, included, yeah, which right. is great. You've got your what's it called? An extractor fan, isn't yeah. it? That's included. That's also glass as well. As well. There we go. Yeah, it's very nice, isn't That's it? It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. So again, more cupboards as we come around. We've got banks of beautiful chrome sockets Hang on a there. Minute. Yeah, there you go. USB sockets. Yes. You don't, uh -huh. Do you know, I, I don't think I could live without those anymore. They've been a revelation in our house, haven't they? Yeah. They're fantastic. But you just don't see them, even in this modern age, you just don't see other developers putting them in. And actually, they're, you know, they're relatively inexpensive now to and, put in. Well, and they're kind of essential. Yeah. Everyone needs to charge up something or yeah. other, don't they? Well, you've got plenty of sockets anyway, and you've got all those isolation switches there for the dishwasher, etc. Yeah. So just to mention, this is a beautiful laminate type work surface. It's absolutely gorgeous with the upstand. I mean, it feels like marble, doesn't it? It's lovely. Right, so more units underneath. We've got a pull-out larder there. That's nice size, isn't it? I think they're really nice, yeah. So you've got an oven and grill above. So we've got AG, AG appliances in, in this kitchen. We have. All included. And what will this be? You know. Yes. Yeah, fridge and freezer there. All included again. In the end so everything you could possibly want so looking at this Beautiful. kitchen as well so yeah. you've actually got all these down lighters as well yes so actually i should imagine in in, in you know of an evening it is quite light here go on well, put it well, see if we can put them on let's have a look oh look the ones under the cupboards have come on as well there we ah. go so there's all your lighting and all that's our standard Right, so you've got a little area at this end. I mean, they've got a chair. You could fit a sofa there, couldn't you? Very, very nice indeed. Just it is. That could just... It's a little bit of family room space, isn't it? Well, it just makes it more... Yeah. I'd have a sofa there. You know, if you're yeah. entertaining, you can take it easy, have a seat. Let's just open the doors and have a quick look in, in the garden and see what the house looks like from, from the back. Beautiful day. Oh, it's lovely. I've got to take the shades off. Right, so let's have a little look. It's a bit sunny. So, actually, if you're looking at it from the back, you're gonna, you really can see those big, they are, you can really see how big those skylights are, can't yeah. you? Big V looks is. You can also see how it's got this additional bit on the back, which gives you the kitchen. Yeah, I mean, this one, obviously, this has got a double garage. This has actually got an integral garage yeah. in this, but obviously, it's being used as a sales centre. So, it is. The sales you know, centre is in between. Yeah. But maybe you can just spin around and uh, and show the viewers uh, what we can see over the wall, perhaps. Yeah. So it's a really nice wall around this. Really nice landscape garden as well. Yeah, well, you know, your garden is your your garden is what you make it, and you can see the method of construction over there. So they've gone for apparently timber frame construction with a brick outer skin, which is very environmentally friendly. Yeah. You and know. This, this beautiful garden will actually be split in yeah. the future between the two show homes. But we're actually, but actually, where we actually are um, in in Telford, we're actually on Hinksay Lane, which is a very small lane that runs through that runs through Telford. So you almost feel like you are actually coming up a country lane to arrive at this um, lovely address. And also, we're actually in the town park. You know, the town park. I mean, we're talking 
one of the best parks in the country award-winning park is just within walking distance it's one beautiful park 450 acres of beautiful open space and when we say walking distance we really mean walking distance yeah we'll include some pictures of the town park and some of the um other facilities that the town's got to offer we'll include them in this video as well because i think there's so much to offer yeah with this location yeah. it is just i don't think there's a location in telford like you it couldn't be any more central than this could no you? I mean, it's you could actually eat. What about if you, oh, if you wanted to go to the shopping centre? Yeah. Ten minutes walk. It, it really is just ten minutes in that direction. Yeah. But also, the thing about Hinsey Lane is that it's a no-through road, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So traffic coming up here is is just coming here. So you know all those people who are queuing up to park at the Telford Centre. You you buy on Silking Green, and you then you haven't got to be worrying about parking, no, have you? There's no parking. Anyway, let's go back in now. It's got a, little, a, little, a light there to the rear. A little um, light and a nice little back gate there as well i need to give you some dimensions for this lovely kitchen and dining right it is five meters 29 in length by three meters 41 in width so that's 17 foot five by 11 foot two okay very Brilliant. very nice indeed so we've got a couple of double doors here what's in oh, here sorry there we go ah Ah, I see, full of surprises. Secret I just carpet. put, I just saw that. So, I was looking for a light switch, but actually we don't need one. So we've got the washing machine and tumble dryer in there. Yeah, it's your utility cupboard, yeah. isn't it? Keeps those appliances out of the way. Yeah. You could put your laundry basket in here if you wanted, and you, all your bits and pieces, your laundry paraphernalia, will all go in here, and then you can just shut the door and keep yeah. it all out of the so way. So you've got sockets in here, you've got isolation switches for the, both those appliances, but also you've got a phone a phone point there, which is pretty good if you want to put your modem in your here modem, out of the way. Yeah. And also we've got the RCD box there, which is nicely accessible. Yeah, we have a nice that. double door yeah. there for that. Smart, see, that's it? how discreet that is. You just walk, you walk past I did, it. I didn't even see it actually. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Because the door, this door was against it. Yeah. Well, good bit of design is. there. Yes. Okay, so that's downstairs done. We'll go and take a look upstairs. Okay. Let's have a little look at oh, that window. What a great position. But you can see now, you can see the garden. Look at those, the beautiful red tiles there as well. Really, really look lovely good view from up here isn't it and you know a lot of the streets we, when a, on the countryside development landscaping is so important mm. right I think we will start that way which yep. I believe is bedroom two well if you go in there let me just look at the landing so you can okay. see the landing is more like a C shape actually um, there was actually a proper nice landing up here a beautiful nil posts and banisters there okay Hello. Right. Right. Bedroom two. Two meters eighty-two by three meters eighteen, which is also nine foot three by ten foot five. Well, first thing I notice is outside. Yeah. The town park. There it is. Are you sure that looks like somebody's garden? Somebody? Well, it is technically probably somebody's garden, but beyond that is the town park. The town that park is, is actually. It's along this lane, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. where it starts. But it is just surrounded by countryside. Yeah. You can't argue with I mean, that. You can see the other houses on this lane, the cottages. Yeah. And it is a proper lane, properties. isn't it? Yeah, it's very quiet. Yes. So we've got a double bed in here. Yeah, it's a good sized double bedroom. What would you say? Four foot six? Bed? Yeah, yeah. it's a standard double. Yeah. yeah. But you've got room for bedside furniture. You've got your built in wardrobes. Also, look at those. A nice, nice tone on those. Now there isn't a sticker on these. No. So they may be additional. We've got some clothes hanging up there, but plenty of space. I mean, they're always a good idea, aren't they? I like the lampshade, but I, I, can you call it a lampshade? Because it doesn't really shade, does it? No. But well, I bet you actually, when it's on, <laughs> I bet it's when it's on in the dark, it, it gives some nice colours, nice it's, patterns. It's funky. I like it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. And the window as well, again, the window's quite low, isn't it? Which is almost like a wet, just below waist height, which is nice. It's 
you just pinch a bit more light out, out from outside. I think it's very nice. I like the small squares actually in the uh, yeah. little windows. Nice detail. Yeah, and you've got the radiator there tucked away yeah. under the window so it doesn't disrupt where you want to put your I don't know whether it's the interior design but things like the radiators and things just sort of blend in. Yeah, well that's how it should be. You've got the really nice door furniture continuing in up here as well. Okay. So we've got the main bathroom. Again, you've got that lovely same toilet that I pointed out downstairs. That's really nice. Um, we've got a tall towel rail there, which is included. It certainly is. A really nice sort of bathroom window there. Good, so I'm natural, nicely. And the windowsill's tiled. I'm actually reliably informed that the chrome towel rail has a summer setting. Oh, right. Which is useful, isn't it? So we've got the, the sink here. Well, it's very stylish, isn't it? And then, you, oh, look at this little cabinet. You've got a little cabinet that conceals another drawer there as well. Look at that. And Soft it's included, which is, uh, which is good to know. Isn't you do it? get a lot, lot for your money here. You certainly do. So let's have a look at the bath. And the mirror, um, which is also included. Is the mirror included? Got a sticker. Oh, is that okay? Yeah. That's a mirror. Um, the, but the tiling in here is impeccable but you've got this bath you've got a shower as well there um, no you know what the tiling is no shall I have a go porcelain porcelainosa 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 tiles yes in, both in here and in the ensuite we keep getting told off for our pronunciation because yeah, we just can't get our tongues around that no, one can we no, porcelainosa no. yeah porcelainosa Puzzle-a-nosa. I would say it sounds like something Harry Potter would say. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, nice bath, and just a little detail, just on that bath panel as well. Just look at that. Just they don't have to do that, but that's so nice. Very nice indeed. Right, let's have a look at the. I want to mention the smoke alarms. They yeah. are electric, so you never have to worry about changing the batteries. They're all wired into the main system. So across the landing on the other side, we've got bedroom three. This is a nice room. Right. Two again. Two windows. Yeah, two windows. You get a nice view down that street. Look at those houses; they are beautiful. Look at the lattice work across the street there. It's like stuff like this you don't have to do. And uh, do you know it's nice to see that people, you know, countryside care about how a house looks. But this is a corner, so it shares two windows. Right, bedroom three dimensions. You've got just over the three meters by two and a half meters uh, and which is 11 a nine foot 11 by eight foot three so they've got a desk in here as well you've got plenty of room for additional furniture it's quite a spacious I wouldn't it, it is the smallest of the three bedrooms but it's a really good size isn't it yeah so along the landing Oh, Steve, you've missed a door here. I'll be back. We'll just turn around for a second and we'll show the viewers what's in here before we do that bedroom. So we're on the landing. You've got a cupboard here. It's a good place for your washing basket, isn't it? Plenty of room in there. Almost a silence. You can just, do you know, like, you, believe it or not, there's a few cars going up and down that lane. Just, yeah. just listen. Can't hear anything. No, you can't. So this is your master bedroom, which is just over the three meters again, by three meters seventeen, nine foot eleven by ten foot five. Very nice indeed. So they've got some fitted wardrobes in here. Again, not sure if they're included. Speak to the sales negotiator about that. There isn't a sticker on them, so I'm assuming that they're not. But that's a really good space for them. So you've got a window to the front and it's got the uh, the fabulous on just show you one of the little cottages do you, you can just see it there so if you actually so let's just get our bearings so where those cars are coming from now that takes you towards the Taffer Town Park so there's parking further up there um, to the park if you head down that way that takes you down into the area of Little, little Dorley um, but just down there as well you can find the Hinksay pools which are um, some really nice fishing pools and you can also find the Silken Way which is what this development is named after so um, the Silken Way is a long distance footpath that runs 
around about 14 miles and it runs from Col Colport in the Ironbridge Gorge all the way up to Bratton and Silkin, the name Silkin comes from the word Lord, from Lord Silkin who was instrumental in the New Towns movement. Mm -hmm. Just tell the viewers a little bit about the town centre which is literally 10 minute walk in that Yeah, the, ta the, town, the town centre is a great indoor shopping centre, um, all on one level as well, which is really good. But also, if you walked from here, the first thing, apart from the town park and everything that's got to offer, the first thing you would come to is Safe Water, isn't it? Yeah. Which is the newest development yeah. um, within the town centre, and it's just fantastic. It's just it? about, yeah, bars, they've, yeah. they've got bars there, lots of places to eat, lots of high street chain um, restaurants, uh, restaurants etc. Huge cinema. Yeah. The library is there. Hotels. Yeah. You know. The ice rink. Everything. To you couldn't be in it's a better fantastic. location, could you? Yeah. This is superb. Anyway, let's take a little look at the ensuite. This is quite nice. It's quite kind of moody. I don't know. Get a kind of moody feel about this room. You want to put the light on? Not that it's dark. It's not because of that. It's. Oh, there we go. It's still a bit moody. So what nice. have we got? Well, you've got a sh we've got a shower cubicle there, yeah, which is a, a large yeah. one. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I, you know, that would do me, that would. Yeah. Um, really nice, really nicely tiled there. And that all, both both showers that I've seen, they're all running off the boiler, so yeah. no electric showers here. Yeah. Um, and just to mention that you've got a gas-fired central heating boiler. Yeah. Central heating system, indeed. Again, we've got the same WC here as, as in there, it's that lovely designery type one there it's really yeah, nice so you've got a vanity unit there with the sink yeah you've got your own window here in this ensuite and as i've showed you previously and um, these are up, up, uh, the sanitary wear is ideal standard but i've just showed you previously you've yeah. got this lovely vanity 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 unit vanity. i would say vanity and on. you've got that tile rail behind there and it's included just wanted to mention that in here you've got a selection of um, additional media points for your TV and that kind of thing all down down the back there. So you could have your TV on the yeah. wall if you wanted to. There's space for. You've also got here. a thermostat in this room as well oh, to control handy, control the heat. Yeah, it is. Um, well, I think we've covered everything. Obviously, we'll show you the outside of this house. Um, at the beginning of the video and again well, at the end we'll, we'll take some photos and show you what and, we've seen and don't forget this house has got the integral garage as well yes i mean we're always in for a treat we always know what to expect with countryside properties the same high high standard no matter what size house they build and that's what i like about it there's no there's no squimping you know you you come to countryside if you want a lot for your money yeah. you know and that's what you get there's no buying this buying that you get a lot and it's all included well additionally though with this site you've got the benefit of a superb location